Okay. So hello to everyone who's just joining. We're getting lots of people coming in from all over the world. It's great to see you all putting those messages in the chat there. Feel free to do that during the webinar today. You can post messages in the chat. You can also use the Q&A and we will try and answer those questions where we can. But welcome to this TOTA community webinar, uh, where today we're going to go behind the scenes of What's Water Technologies Learn and Earn program. So What's Water Project was highly commended for a TOTA award in the manufacturing category, as we recognize the far reaching impact of this project. So to introduce Watts today and tell us the story of how the project started and continues to grow, we're joined by Rebecca Brunner Plunkett. And to make this project a success, Watts teamed up with TOTA partner Kineo, so today we're also joined by Cami Bean from Kineo. And of course, the project makes great use of a reward store to encourage customers to learn all about Watts products. And the success of this relies upon Watts partnership with Motrain. So to help us learn more about Motrain, we're joined today by Motrain's director, Jeff Campbell. So thank you all for being here today and to help us learn more about this project. So just a little bit of housekeeping about this webinar. As we go through the webinar today, you're all very welcome to ask questions um, in the chat and in that Q&A function. And we will come to those as we can during the session. Um, we are recording this webinar and it will be available in the TOTO community after the session. Um, so if you're watching this recording on the internet, on YouTube, for example, do come and create an account on the TOTO community. It's free to sign up to. Um, so to kick us off today and to get the conversation flowing, I'm going to hand over to Rebecca um, from Watts to tell us all about Watts. So over to you, Rebecca. Well, thank you so much for having me today. And I would like to start this off by just telling you a bit about Watts and what we do in the learning space. So Watts is a global leader in water solutions for commercial and residential buildings. Our products and solutions contribute to water safety, water conservation, water quality, and the energy efficient use of water around the globe. So the company is extremely committed to environmental stewardship and social responsibility. And I'm happy to announce that for the third consecutive year, Newsweek named the company among America's most responsible companies. So that said, we are a trusted knowledge provider in the industry and education has been in Watts DNA for the longest time. What you see here is actually an overview of our What's Works learning program that is not only about e-learning, but has other aspects as well, like our instructor-led training, virtual instructor-led training, and our lunch and learn program. So it's our goal to help plumbing professionals to develop the skills they need in their trade. And I would like to share our e-learning journey with you which actually started in late 2017, when uh, I was hired as e-learning program manager to help supplement the existing training with e-learning. Great, and what were some of the main challenges you faced back in 2017, Rebecca? <laughs> Fancy that you asked. So <laughs> joint was, I actually did inherit an e-learning platform. And that pretty much worked well enough to let me upload content. And then the system hid it away from the users. So I'm going to be polite, say the user interface was not exactly intuitive and uh, reporting was extremely limited as well. So as a result, we did have quite a few frustrated learners and one very frustrated administrator. So I would rather not uh, confirm or deny whether this picture shows me managing the previous LMS, but it comes pretty close. So it was only a matter of time until the business realized that we needed something new, contemporary, first in class to really deliver our training in an effective manner and track, centralized, um, track it in a centralized way as well. So, as always, when you try and replace something, you better get it right. So we were really aware of having to, having only one chance to make a good first impression with a new platform. So stakeholder analysis was key. We really needed to find out what the business needed, what was wanted, and uh, fully understand the requirements. So we went through a really thorough vetting process. And at the end of the day, Totora really checked all our boxes and we really haven't looked back since. 
Great, thanks, uh, Rebecca. And once you decided that you wanted to use Totara as your learning management system, you then had to pick a Totara partner to work with, um, and you chose to partner with Kineo. So why did you make that decision? So that actually, looking back, was a rather easy decision because we were looking for somebody who really was an established partner in the L&D field with an agile approach and a real sound understanding of the extended enterprise solutions. So Kineo had a couple of things going for them. They were like the founding partners. They wrote part of the code. And uh, when I talked to, um, to the Kineo reps, their concept of learning ecosystems really matched our own ideas of a constantly evolving learning culture. And I mean, finally, it's really not every day that you get to discuss LMS configuration with your favorite accidental instructional designer, right, Cami? That's right. Um, so when, when Rebecca first reached out to us, uh, you had already used Totra at another organization, is that correct, Rebecca? Am I allowed to reveal that secret? Absolutely, um, and that helped us to kind of understand what was possible and what we didn't have. Yes. Yeah. So it was a it was a real warm sale, to to put it bluntly. I mean, Rebecca came to Kineo having done her homework. She knew she knew about this platform already, and she knew about Kineo. Um, and it was, it's, it's just been sort of a match made in, in heaven. And if you talk to anyone on our production team, Rebecca is, is everyone's favorite client. She's just the best person to work with. And it's been a fantastic <laughs> partnership. Um, and I, I think really Kineo, uh, you know, part of what we, what appealed to, to us about, to, to us for you, I don't know how I said that, right. Um, we are one of the founding partners of Totra. So back in 2000, is it 12, uh, now, I, I don't even remember about um, when Totoro was brought to market, Kineo, Kineo had, had uh, brought Totoro mar to market with a couple of other organizations. So we've been there from day one. Um, we work really closely with Totoro. We have deep knowledge of the platform and we have implemented it across a lot, a lot, a lot of clients um, doing some amazing work, always trying to keep that learner at the heart of the solution. And for Watts, I think a key thing for you all was that it was uh, you're trying to set up an LMS for internal employees, but really it's that extended enterprise, your wide distributor network who are not Watts employees. Um, but, but Watts clearly had a view on training as really core to your value proposition and to your customers. I had the opportunity to go up to Watts in Andover and tour the plant with Rebecca and tour the training facilities. This is pre-pandemic. And it was amazing the kind of setup that you have to allow people to, you know, try installing a boiler or fixing pipes. I mean, it's a full worked solution. And I think part of this journey was moving to a more digital offering as well. Um, and the timing couldn't have been better with the pandemic. Uh, you know, we, we didn't know looming and you'll tell a little bit about that story. Um, and so the relationship with Kineo and Watts has been a really consultative approach. Rebecca works really closely with uh, our platform consultants, our uh, solution architects um, who help her dive into understanding what those requirements are, what the business need is that you're after, and then trying to architect the solution to that. So we've um, configured a core Totra platform, but then there's been a lot of add-ons and, and plugins to enhance the experience. And Kineo brings a lot of that to the table that we've done for other clients. So, um, you know, Watts has just helped us mature that function even more. I'm going to take it from here because uh, I just want to go back to the start before we launched in 2019 because it was extremely important for us to have an intuitive interface, solid reporting, branding options, and overall system flexibility. As Cami said, the Kineo team really helped us build on Totara's freedom to innovate. So we designed a unique approach together that really had the user experience in mind. So we needed the, uh, the platform to be accessible like everywhere, ease of use. And to me, most important to have some fun with the program as well. So what Kineo helped us build was more than just an LMS. 
but it went more in the direction of a learning experience platform for both employees and customers. And I mean, let me tell you, since we started our Learn and Earn program, it's like nobody wants to miss our courses on products and solutions anymore because it's just really, really cool. And um, we're gonna hear, hear from Jeff about what Learn and Earn actually is about from the uh, technical end. But basically what it is that our learners can earn tokens when they complete our courses, and then they can collect those and redeem them right in the platform for awesome lifestyle merchandise. So none of this actually could have been possible uh, if it wasn't for Jeff, so I am thrilled to have him on that call as well. And Jeff, the floor is yours. Thank you, Rebecca. The uh, very kind introduction, by the way. Uh, yes, MoTrain connects to the Watts Learn and Earn program uh, through a plugin, and our platform uh, is attached to that as well. And as Rebecca mentioned, that allows the learners to earn a virtual currency for activity and course completions. And as you can see from this picture, the Watts branded token is really the framework behind that learn and earn program. And as Rebecca mentioned, the customers can go and redeem those tokens for some amazing Watts branded lifestyle merchandise. And what gets me the most excited about this project is how the challenge that we've really overcome is is attracting these customers to the program and really help them uh, with the, I'd say the content consumption strategy in terms of course completions uh, has been uh, just outstanding, the results that this program has, has really seen. And I think when we look at the extended enterprise strategy with the Learn and Earn program is, is that's really where uh, you, the, there's no consequence for these customers to engage, first of all, enroll, but also to com actually complete those courses. And so I think that's where the strategy around the extended enterprise and using Motrain is really powerful because effectively we are exchanging the customer's time and incentivizing to take these courses. And we're, we're exchanging that for that in-depth product knowledge and understanding around the Watts products. And the other aspect I really like about leveraging Totara is that we can uh, we can tap into their audiences. And so what that what Watts has done is they have created audiences on Totara that are based on the country that the customer resides in. And so each of those audiences can be connected to a unique Motrain incentive store. So we can offer personalized items uh, for that country. We can offer the translations, not only on the Totara platform, but also on the Motrain side. And we can connect each of those audiences to a unique fulfillment provider in the country to improve the efficiency of actually getting these items to these, uh, these customers. So that's uh, kind of the framework around how Motrain integrates into uh, the, the Totara site. On the next slide, which thank you, uh, Rebecca, is I know the title of this session was uh, had the word gamification in it, but I much prefer the term motivational design because what Motrain does is it takes elements of gamification, but it really comes to life when we implement the strategy around that. So in the first step of our motivational design process, uh, I like to say we need to get customer eyeballs on the content. So we have some, so, some strategies that are baked around getting people to just enroll in the program. And on the next slide, I'll show uh, the two plugin add-ons that we've built to help attract customers into the Watts Learn and Learn program. The second aspect is, as I mentioned, we can assign those tokens to those activity and course completions. And on the, on the integration side, we can set a global value. So across all of the courses on the Totara site, uh, we can set a default value for course completion and activity completions, but we can override those as well and get very specific and set a token value for specific courses and specific activities. 
And I'm sure that's where Rebecca needs to clone herself at this point in time because they have hundreds of courses and they've customized the, the token value for, for many of those courses. Uh, that alone is an impressive feat, Rebecca. <laughs> it's uh, all for the cause. But as those, uh, co those tokens accumulate in the customer's wallet, uh, the third process is uh, uh, getting them to recognize they can redeem those tokens in that for those branded lifestyle products. And what I really like about what Watts has done is they, they're offering these, these items that are complementary to the work uh, in the nature of what their customers do. So plumbers and contractors and wholesalers often work in unfinished buildings. And so they have a lot of products that will make their jobs better or more comfortable. And I really like the fact that they've tied that aspect into it's related to the training side of things. The other uh, really cool part that they've done is when they send these items out to the customers, they put a little thank you card into the, uh, into the shipment and it says, hey, thanks for taking the training. If you enjoy the product that you've earned, take a picture of yourself and send us a quote and we'll manually add 300 more tokens into your account. And so what Watts is getting is a bunch of these amazing pictures with people that have taken the training are using the products that they've earned from the Learn and Earn program, uh, sending in pictures and quotes, and then Watts's marketing team has grabbed onto that, of course, and uh, hey, look how awesome our program is. And of course, that feeds back into the number one, which is attracting more customers to enroll in the program. On my last slide, well, on the next one here, Rebecca, is I wanted to just highlight that first aspect of how do you attract customers to enroll in, the, in your training program. And so on login here, I think you might have to play this one there, Rebecca. Yeah. I think it was my little video. Yeah, yeah there we are. So on the login of the Todoro site, the very first time that a customer logs into the program, you're going to see the first little uh, kind of loop here is a welcome coins. That one, right? Uh, nope, that's the refer a friend one. Um, we have a welcome coins pop up that listens to the very first time a customer enrolls in the course. There we are. Uh, or, or I should say registers in the site. And so it's not only a feel good message. But Watts has used that welcome coins feature to market and promote their program saying, hey, come in and, and sign up for the Watts program and you can earn 100 tokens towards uh, some, or what are you at? 250 tokens now, Rebecca. Wow, you guys are being generous. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one that is a more recent develop, what I, which I really like, is the refer a friend feature. So you can, we'll show that in the demo, but essentially a customer that is registered on the site can refer a friend and receive tokens for a successful friend registration into the same program. So that system obviously is like a customer affiliate program. So those two tools are really designed to help build that customer audience into the, the program. And the last thing I'll mention, I really like the fact that Watts has opened up the Motrain aspects to their internal employees. But based on those audiences, I've just seen that login screen. So the employees can go kind of to the left and the login there, and then the customers go to the right. But the employees have their own audience, and you can turn on or off the token earnings for the courses that those employees take. So on the mandatory compliance trainings, they have no tokens and no Motrain available. But for the programs that they would like their employees to go above and beyond, you can help encourage that behavior by adding the Motrain aspect to it. So that's the last bit I wanted to, end, uh, to add in there. Okay, um, just one question coming through at the moment, um, which is related directly to this. Um, how does the weighting work for the coins? For example, do you earn more to do a mandatory regulation training or do you earn... Um, is they all weighted the same as the question, really? There, there actually is uh, some kind of weighting, and mandatory training is so awesome in itself, we don't even give tokens for it. However, uh, we do assign tokens in our product courses currently, and that is based on the time spent on the course and the complexity of the topic, so that we really show how we value our customers' time they spend to check the training. And that is weighted in a specific system that if the course is longer, you earn more tokens. But um, we're going to get into this a little bit more in depth when we do a quick demo. 
Okay, and um, so one of the issues that comes up with learning is obviously getting people to go and do that. And the Motrain plugin is, is a huge um, source of motivation for learners to go and actually log in and do their training. But aside from Motrain, um, how else are you uh, encouraging users to log in, Rebecca, and to take their training? So that is a great question. And I think we now all learned that Jeff really doesn't like the term gamification. But for me, it's still a great, uh, great topic when it comes to user engagement. So especially with Tora, nothing really beats the feeling of turning something that already exists into some unexpected gamified functionality. So that's where Tora absolutely excels. And I would just like to show a quick example of a course we did last year. It's the Water Champion Challenge. And what we wanted to do is a guided, gamified experience that has a real-time effect on our users. So this is the actual course layout you're seeing here. And we did work with featured links, dynamic audiences, HTML blocks. We threw in a couple of roles, visibility restrictions. So at the end of the day, the user after completing a specific amount of courses under, let's say, the energy efficiency bucket, system would in real time stamp the icon as complete. So as the user went along in their journey, they earned more and more stamps. And ultimately, once they all had all categories stamped, they did unlock a surprise, which in this case was 400 bonus tokens to spend in our learning our store. But just shows how you can use like really simple Tildra functionality, do a little bit of mix and match, and have a gamified experience just right there. And then, of course, the tokens are the cherry on top. Thanks, Rebecca. Thanks, Rebecca. That's that's great. And then, would you mind showing us a little bit more behind the scenes of your site? Because one of the things that a lot of people in the Toto community and people doing their own implementations, they don't get to see other sites. So it's great if we can have a more of a sneak peek behind yours. Absolutely. I think this is a great time for a live demo. So bear with me for one moment here. This is where, this is where we have the, hold, the holding music I don't have. So here we are in our, on our page. As Jeff pointed out earlier, we do have our double login. Employees can log into the system, a customer login at the same site. So I'm going to go extended enterprise all the way and log in as a customer. Here's the disclaimer, if this hangs, this is on Todora, it's not on me. <laughs> I see, we are in the system and the first thing I hope you see is that we designed our dashboard to be as intuitive and as tactile as possible. So we got a very prominent tile structure to really make navigation very easy for all our users. So for a more social feel, we are really uh, into embedding videos like our learn and earn tutorial, which is an animated walkthrough of the core of our platform. We also solicit video feedback from our customers. So we highlight that on our platform as well. The full dashboard is built with um, featured links and we've really taken advantage of the Kineo self-service theme to make this possible. So if anybody has looked closely, here is our referrer friend button. I'm gonna just click on this to show how really easy this is. You enter your friend's email, send the invitation. The moment the friend signs up, you're going to get credit for that referral. So if Jeff hadn't referred himself earlier for his own demo, I probably would have invited him at this point, but I think you're already good. So let's just move up a little bit because I would like to show how we utilize banners, either HTML blocks or featured links to highlight our campaigns and special, um, special messaging on the platform. Currently, it's a great time for a demo because we're running a campaign to highlight our irrigation courses. So this banner really sends the message, take our pre-selected courses and earn double tokens. I'm going to click on this to show you a little bit of what's happening next. And here we go. 
So first thing you'll probably see is that our system relies heavily on the use of pages to create a custom tailored experience for our different users. So here we have a bilingual campaign and we are using the page as a gateway to our training content. We got the courses in Spanish, which is a bundled link to our catalog overview. And I have to admit that my English is slightly better than my Spanish. So I'm going to go back and earn my tokens in our English recommended courses. So let's take a look at our first course and see how this looks. Here we go. We got the course page here. Again, you see, we did opt for a highly intuitive, very simple to use interface. The banner on top of the screen does um, give like insight into the product, has a bit of product recognition for the user. And um, as Jeff mentioned earlier, token indicators are token values are customized for our courses. So we are using these token indicators to tell the learner upfront how many tokens they will earn for completing each course. Again, we do value our users' time. So as I said before, token value is adjusted depending on complexity and um, course length. So now the thing is, we wouldn't really be knowledge providers if it was just about watching a quick video on features and benefits of what's products. So what we do is we do provide a check your knowledge section that allows the learner to apply their knowledge, give them the confidence of having mastered the topic, and then earning the tokens by passing the quiz. I'm going to just having said that, let's pretend I passed the quiz, I earned my tokens, I'm going to click on the featured link that gets me directly into the heart of our experience, which is the Learn and Learn store. Here we go. We have a lot of different items on shelf at this point. It's literally, we have something for everyone. And um, I always say, I really do hope that our courses are not driving our learners to drink, but even if that was the case, we would have them covered. So that said, as Jeff said, we really are very conscious, not only of um, items that are sustainable, we wanna have items that are really being used on a daily basis. So here is one of our best sellers, the Plumber's Mate Multi-Tool, which I'm going to buy now to just show you how easy this is to purchase items you worked hard for. You wanna click on that tile, gonna see, get a description. I see the plumber's tool is even better than I thought. So I'll definitely hit the purchase button on this. Going to um, commit to this purchase, click buy now, I am sure. And all I need to do now is fill in the order form, hit the submit button. In the background, the shipping integration does its thing. And all I need to do now is sit back and wait until my item arrives in the mail. That said, I should see a deduction on my Learn and Earn account here, which you see was fully customized and branded with our Watts like logos as well. And that said, I think this was a quick, quick and easy tour through how you can earn tokens, what you can do with your tokens. And I'm going to uh, just route us back to our original presentation. Well, thanks for that sneak peek. And it seemed like totes were lived up there, didn't break during the live demo. So that's always good. Um, so congratulations on that one. Um, and what are your learners saying about this, Rebecca? What, what's the sort of feedback that you're getting constantly from, from learners as they go in and take the courses? So this just happens to be my favorite question and actually my favorite slides of the whole deck because we really get a lot of feedback from our learners. And it's cool to see the impact of the platform. And 
it's not only that feedback does help us to continuously improve our learner experience, it just shows us the reach as a true knowledge provider. And we're actually getting this feedback from all over the world now that we are in different countries and regions. But it's just exciting to, um, to see learners, to have them send their pictures, have them tell us what they think about the program and what they get out of this. I have another feedback slide because that feedback really, really points out how we make training rewarding in more than one respect with the help of that platform. So Learn and Earn really opens the door to the experience. It brings the users in, it motivates them to take, uh, take the courses. But through the materials, they really increase their knowledge and become like experts in what they just learned. And as a consequence, they become ambassadors for both the learning program and the watch products and solutions. And that's actually the best thing you could expect out of an extended enterprise platform. It's great to see such positive feedback from so many people and to have their pictures as well and to obviously create that community that you're creating as well through Watts. Um, has, the project, has the project had any other positive impacts across the business? Absolutely. So as you can imagine, we were extremely well positioned for the challenges of the past years. So in 2020, everything went virtual, including training. So we could benefit from this in like uh, both employee and customers. So um, from an employee point of view, the platform really helped transitioning to remote work through tailored courses and curricula. Employees alone completed over 10,000 courses in 2020, and that was an 83% increase. And that's exciting in itself. But looking at the figures on this slide actually shows our customer activity. And customers around the world completed over 100,000 online training sessions in 2020. They spent more than 750,000 minutes of learning. And that's a 300% increase compared to the prior year. So that, to me, it sounds a lot. If anybody says, yeah, that's not really impressive. Uh, to put this in perspective, uh, when we launched in 2019, we really thought we had started strong with an offering of about 100 courses and a couple of thousand customer registrations. So we've come a long way. And at this point, we host over 600 on-demand training modules just on what's products and solutions. And they're available to our employees, customers, sales reps in multiple languages, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And at times I feel the journey has just started. That's no brilliant results, Rebecca. Um, so if I talk to Rebecca, Cami, and to, and to Jeff, um, what's next for the project? All I can say is that we're not giving our secrets away. We've shown you like a little bit of what we're doing. We have great plans. And Matt, if you're willing to invite us back next year, we have awesome stuff to share, I can promise. But uh, that's all I can say right now. Stay tuned. We'd love, we'd love to have you back on in the future, Rebecca, as well. And um, Jeff or Cami, is there any, any final future predictions that you can reveal about potentially MoTrain, for example, Jeff, what are you working on at the moment? Well, I've been bugging Rebecca and her team to use more of the functionality. So right now in the Learn and Earn program, there's just a, we call it a direct purchase. So there's a, an exchange for the tokens directly for the item. But we also have raffle draws, auctions, and fundraisers that they have not turned on. And I know there's a whole bunch of legal reasons and you know stuff to sort out, but that's for other people to, to deal with, I figure. So I would really, I've been encouraging them to try those other, the other functionality and really look at how those types of strategies are baked into the motivational design because you add in some uncertainty with raffle draws and auctions. And, and that's a, a highly appealing thing to for, for people to get motivated around. Uh, and then I think the uh, the other aspect is, is Motrain actually can connect to other platforms outside of Totora through our API and Zapier. So you can award tokens or coins 
for actions taken on other platforms, for example, on payment systems, for submitting type form surveys, Salesforce triggers. If you've, if you've played around with Zapier, uh, you'll understand the triggers that can then uh, allow you to send tokens to the same user for taking actions on other platforms. So I've planted the seeds with Rebecca and her team on that too, to start thinking outside of Todra and then really building a larger digital engaged solution around, uh, around learning. Brilliant. And Cami, anything you can reveal? <laughs> What can I reveal? Well, I, I just want to harken back to the beginning of the pandemic, Rebecca. I remember you and I were talking. We were like, we were adjusting to life at home. And you were blown away because, and I remember you told this to me, you said, it's amazing. Plumbers are, are flocking to training during the pandemic. And not to say that the pandemic came at a good time for anyone, but I think vis-a-vis -vis this platform, it really did. Like you created such awareness during this where people were home and they were really eager to learn more about the product that you offer. And you have a lot of sub brands under the Watts name. I mean, there's thousands of products that you can provide training on. Um, it's just been really exciting to see the impact that you've had. And now, now that there's such awareness about what's out there in terms of learning to see what your community is gonna do next is really exciting how, how that's gonna grow and evolve. And I'll leave it to Rebecca to reveal the next secrets um, <laughs> in, terms of, in terms of where she's going. Okay, well, thank you so much for taking us behind the scenes today, Rebecca, and Jeff and Cami as well. Thank you, Matt, yeah, my pleasure. And, uh, this was absolutely my pleasure, Matt. I have one final thing I want to say before I hand this back to you. And it's just, um, I mean, today it's just Cami, Jeff, and myself on this webinar here. But in reality, what we're doing is a team sport. So there are teams on the Kineo end, on the Motrain end, and it has been a fantastic collaboration so far. And I want to thank the teams for this. I also want to give a shout out to uh, everybody here at Watts the training team who really made Watts Works Online what it is now. So we wouldn't be anywhere without Carrie, Joyce, Tom, Dean, Jackie, and most of all our manager, Greg Jorda, and everybody who ever stopped by on the platform to took courses and told us what they think. And just want to thank everybody for that as well. Yeah, there's a huge team behind all of these projects, isn't it, Rebecca? So it's really important to, to point that out. Um, again, a few questions coming in at the moment. Um, one question is, do you know which version of the platform um, Watts is on? We are on version 12, which is extremely exciting because we are using a multi-tenancy emulation for something I know as part of later versions of Chora. So can you really help us? Uh, with a lot of custom experiences here to make this happen. Thank you. And Jessica asked a question about um, data handling procedures. And Jeff, you've answered that, but you've answered it just to us inside the webinar. So that she didn't see that. So do you want to say your answer again, Jeff? Yeah, I was just scrolling up to see. I, I think Jessica was asking about how do we hand, how does Watts handle the data privacy when customers send in the pictures and from what I've seen on the little thank you card is there's a disclaimer that says by sending in your quote and your picture, you agree to have them used in, in future Watts marketing uh, pr promotional side of things. Uh, so I, unless Rebecca can speak more to that. Yes. Um, we, we actually did uh, work with our legal department on creating a specific disclaimer. So it's not like you send us your picture and we'll plaster it all over the place. Uh, so we're not like Facebook or anybody who, who does like strange stuff, but it's really one of those things. If somebody sends us a picture, we reach out to them with a disclaimer and a consent request. And if somebody changes their mind and says, we don't want this picture anywhere, we do not have any, uh, any intention to post anything. The privacy is really extremely important to us. Thanks, Rebecca. <clears throat> so a couple of things. We've got two questions which maybe we can deal with at the same time. Um, is it possible to go back to the motivation um, slide, which I think was Jeff's one, um, the motivational design slide, if that's possible? Um, and whilst you're doing that, I'll ask a different question. Um, so I'm just going to go back 
in dizzying speed. That's fine. So the other, question, <laughs> the, other, the other question, which is probably quite a long question, is um, how did the requirements change from 2017 up to 2022? For example, was have you had to do things like mobile first or adding in that gamification? Um, I don't know if you can provide a, a quick summary of that, because I know that will obviously be a huge um, journey that you've been on there. We were kind of uniquely equipped because um, at least from my own experience, I understood some of the strength of Totora and what we could bring to the system. So I immediately, even during the original vetting process, had a grid I used to understand what was needed, like some um, gamification uh, specific design and flexibility was already part of our roadmap. And Kenio just helped us map this out. Fun story is that um, What's internally the Motrain plugin was discovered two days after it was announced on the Totora website. So we were pretty much the first real extended enterprise people reaching out to Jeff and probably having been cursed for that ever since by Jeff. So we were very, very lucky in our, in our timeline and we were able to take advantage of what appeared along the road. Yeah, and I would say from the Kinio perspective and Rebecca, I think that our first statement of work was really focused on getting to an MVP, so minimum viable product. You had an old system that you needed to shut off and you wanted to get Totra in place. And you know, over the subsequent months and years, it was a prioritization process. You had a big wish list and it was figuring out what was the right next thing to do. So we sort of incrementally have been adding to the platform over the years and building out additional functionality integrations. Motrain came, you know, unexpectedly at the, at the right time. So that became the priority while we were working on that. Um, and then there have been other things that have kind, kind of come, come along uh, in the way. Andre, does that answer your question? Um, I hope so. Um, <laughs> whilst he comes back, I, I, I want to say one more thing about that because voice of the customer is really important to us. So we continue, continually assess the value we're bringing to the industry. So if we see a demand or a request for a certain functionality, it really is going to be rather likely that we try and make this happen. To the value. Brilliant. Thanks. Um, and Andre, if you'd like to continue the conversation, um, this webinar will be in the Totora community as well. So if anyone else would like to continue the conversation, um, the recording will be in a version of Totora Engage. And we can at um, the participants today in the webinar, and we can continue this conversation in there as well. So if you are watching this recording, feel free, you can ask Cammy or Rebecca or Jeff questions, and they, and they can come back to you there as well, if you'd like more details about this particular project or about any other projects as well. Um, further to that, yeah, I was going to say, Jeff, you've posted your email already. That's great. And I don't know if, um, Cammy, if you'd like to put your email out there as well, that people can get in contact with you if they have questions as well about the project. Rebecca, feel free as well, but you might get a lot of spam, a lot of uh, fan mail in the post, you know, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as soon as I find the chat box, I'll put it in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, so we just had um, another webinar coming up um, after this one today. It was in, I think it's next next week on the 23rd of February. Um, we're going to be doing a demonstration of the Tan Experience platform. So everyone's welcome to come along to that as well. And do keep an eye out for our other webinars, which are on the website and in the Totoro community. But yeah, thank you to all of you today for, for showing us this great web, this great case study and your success. And I hope it continues to grow in the future. And we'd love to see more of it as you hopefully turn on Totoro Perform and Totoro Engage in the future as well. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Cammy. Thanks a lot, Matt and, and Cammy and Rebecca. It was great. Thank you. Bye all. Bye. Cheers all.